Ciao friends! We are Andrea and Ravi, and together we do Trek and Eats, a channel dedicated to travel and good food. We recently completed a Basque Country tour and we visited San Sebastian, San Jean de Luz, Biarritz, and further north Arcachon, Saint Emilion, and Bordeaux, which are not part of the Basque Country. By the way, if you're not subscribed yet to our channel, please consider doing so to get notified on our next Basque Country videos. Bassin d'Arcachon is a bay on the Atlantic Ocean on the southwest coast of France, situated in Pays de Buche in the Aquitaine region. It's located about 45 miles from Bordeaux and it's known for its oyster farms, the ever-changing low and high tides, and unique beach destinations. The bay covers an area of 60 square miles at high tide and 15 square miles at low tide. Some of its geological features are natural preservation areas. We stayed with friends in Goujon Mestras, a small commune with seven ports that is known as the oyster farming capital of Arcachon Bay. It was the fourth stop in our tour of the region and if you haven't seen our other videos, we will link them at the end. people trying to breathe I guess. We are out of shape, that's what it means. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> uh, so many people there okay. watching the sunset. Bye bye. Camina, camina. The Dune de Pilat is the most iconic site in Arcachon. It's located at the southern entrance of the Arcachon Basin. The dune is the tallest in Europe and runs parallel to the shoreline behind the high tide line of the beach. Nearly 2 million visitors travel each year to climb it, making it one of the most visited natural sites in France after the Calanque of Cassis. Located on the sites of ancient proto-historic camps, it is believed that the dune began to form more than 4,000 years ago. It stretches for nearly 1.9 miles and has been moving landward, slowly pushing the forest back to cover houses, roads and portions of the Atlantic Wall. Close to the Dune de Pilat, there is a five-star hotel, La Corniche, and its restaurant and bar have one of the most spectacular views, with the beautiful water on one side and the Dune de Pilat on the other. This is a very popular place and requires a reservation for the restaurant. The bar, on the other hand, is first come for serve and is a fun place to watch the beautiful sunset and the dune while sipping a glass or two of Chablis and enjoying beautiful lounge music.
beautiful morning here. We came to see this area where there are a lot of fishermen cabins and this is where they um, bring in the oysters and distribute everywhere in the mornings. And um, we're by the water, but right now there's no water because the tide is low because the water is coming back and you can see in the direction that the water goes that it's coming back. So this whole area is going to be full of water <laughs> in a few hours and it's going to look so different like this boat is going to be floating on water in a few hours which is so insane. <laughs> Oyster farming villages are part of the charm of Arcachon, and we visited Port La Rose, a must-see one in this part of France to learn about oyster farming in the bay, and most importantly, to taste the world-famous oyster farm there. When you visit the traditional oyster farming villages, expect to have some of the freshest and tastiest oysters directly from the local oyster farmers at the water's edge. You can stroll among the colorful oyster cabins and see the farmers at work, watch the characteristic flat bottom boats and observe the tide that is either coming or going, which is a marvel to see. We had lunch at Rotiu Tiu, one of the cabins along the water, and had some amazing oysters and shrimps served with pate, butter, and bread, a combination we were not familiar with but quickly got used to and can't live without. There's also always excellent wine to wash it all down. Ooh, pate, what's up? <laughs> Port La Rose comes alive in the evening with live music and apéro in the cabins overlooking the gorgeous sunset. The scenic backdrop is perfect to take pictures. We tried the cabin Degustation by Cayuquet for happy hour on the side of the port facing the sunset and the views were magical, the food and wine really amazing and if this view were in any major city you would pay an arm and a leg to eat there. Perere is a large sandy beach we visited in Arcachon, stretching some 1.9 miles in length with gorgeous views over the chic town of Cap Ferret on the other side of the bay. What makes this beach unique is that it not only has beautiful white sand where you can lay down, but also a lawn under the shade of beautiful trees right across from a well-maintained promenade, for those who prefer grass. It has a long white path, running most of its length for walking, jogging or biking. There are also changing rooms, a snack shack and a skate park on the beach. The beach is nice and wide with plenty of room to spread out. If you come at low tide, you can walk until the middle of the bay and since it's sheltered from the Atlantic currents, it is much safer and calmer than the Atlantic side. Here we are by the beach, and it's gorgeous to see on one side 
the bay and on the other the forest. Close to the beach, there is the Bar du Soleil, a beautiful beachside restaurant with indoor and outdoor seating. The restaurant serves really good tapas, including some fresh seafood options. If you visit Perer Beach, this is a great place to grab lunch or a snack. By now you know that one of our favorite activities when we travel is visiting the most famous markets and trying out regional specialties. And the markets in this region did not disappoint. We visited the municipal market of La Teste de Bouche, close to where we were staying and got a glimpse of the beautiful seasonal food, tried some of their specialties and enjoyed watching locals go about their business, buying groceries and enjoying their day with friends and families. Our friends tell us that it is customary to stop for a glass of wine and fresh oysters or other snacks when at the market, so try it out next time you visit a market in France. Another market we visited is the Akasho market, which is a fancier version. We went to this place to try the famous canelle sweets that are the specialty of Bordeaux. Someone had recommended a place called Sibon Sicho in the market and we are so happy we tried it. We liked it even more than the most famous one from Bayardon. Trying the famous canelle at the Akasho market. I don't know how to describe it. Delicious? It's like chewy and gooey and soft. Um, a little crunch. Mm. It's like I'm gonna miss them <laughs> so much. We hope you like our content. Please check out our other videos from the region and consider subscribing to our channel if our content resonates with you. See you in the next one.